Hello everyone, this is Bonnie Cambridge and it's been a minute since I've done a hair video. So here I am just to briefly update you guys on my transition. Today I am 18 weeks post. For all those that are not too comfortable with counting the weeks, it's actually four months and two weeks. So in another two weeks, I would be five months post. Oh my God, like this is the longest that I have gone without a relaxer. And I'm loving it. I feel so great. I feel free. Now I understand why when women go natural and they're completely natural. Now I understand why they say that they feel free. I'm only transitioning and I feel great. I cannot wait until I am 100% natural. And my hair is so much thicker. It's unbelievable. Like, I have all this new growth and it's crazy. So, just last week, I wanted to big chop my hair. And um, my husband started cutting the back. Well, actually, he started cutting off at the nape. And, okay, so he started cutting. And, um... I started paying attention to the length and a lot of the hair that was coming out and I was just like, we cannot continue with this. <laughs> it was so horrifying. So I really, really big up anyone that can big chop and feel great and feel sexy and everything. Like that's, that's awesome. I'm not ready just yet. I thought I was with all the uh, new hair growth that I have. I was just, I thought I was ready. I called him up. I said, we doing this. And I, I, I just, once the reality hit and I started to see the hair that was being cut, I said, no, mm -mm. I'm not ready. Because <laughs> I, like I said before, I've always had long hair. So for me to not even be able to put my hair in a simple ponytail is just outrageous to me so i really like i said uh, god bless the women that can big chop early you guys are the bomb y'all the bomb but i'm still you know i'm gonna let it grow some more until i get to a length where i am most comfortable with and then i'll probably just go ahead and bc because the more new growth sets in, it just, it becomes much harder to kind of manage the two textures. Um, and I'm just speaking for myself. I know of some women that go 18 months transitioning and they never had a problem. Um, I most certainly do. I have massive amounts of hair growth in the midsection of my in the midsection of my head and it's like if I don't moisturize it and kind of tame it down it's, it's just very hard to manage and it's only that centerpiece the rest of my hair is fine <laughs> it's manageable it's it's just I really I'm starting to believe that right in the midsection of my hair I'm like a 4a 4a 4b I'm really starting to believe that now um the rest of my hair is mostly in the three c's but again i really won't know until i finally big chop and and i'm finally you know a hundred percent natural you know we do know that texture does change and when you have relaxed um and still hanging on it's very hard to to really tell what texture you are but kind of lean into the um 3c and uh and a 4b 4a 4a 4b um right in the center of my head so um i also want to show you guys some of the new products that i got and they're very far so give me one second <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Um, recently, um, I bought 
olive oil moisturizing hair lotion by organic root stimulator and this product is the bomb i don't even know what else to say about this product um as soon as i put it on my new growth it just defines the curls and the comb just doesn't really have to do much so this is a lifesaver because that centerpiece of my hair is just it has a mind of its own i tell you so um this is the truth at least for me so you want to give it a try go ahead but this right here has saved my life <laughs> and i'm still using the um olive oil by the same company organic root stimulator um, at first I thought these two were the same product but once I uh, got to use them and even the scent is different so I know for a fact that it's not um, it's not the same uh, it's not the same product so I also love 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 this product um, is castor oil by um, castor oil by hollywood beauty and it's a great uh, you can use it as a sealant you can um after you moisturize you can seal with this and it's it's great it's really really great um it does have other ingredients so it's not only castor oil it has from mink oil, sweet almond oil, things that I can't even pronounce, oil, vitamin E, <laughs> but what else? Cocoa butter and some other stuff that I really can't pronounce, so I'm not even going to try. Um, but I love castor oil. And I also have the, um, the original castor oil, which is... Uh, um, the Jamaican black castor oil. I love that product, but I only use it on wash days like today um, I use it once a week No, I'm lying. I I wash my hair twice a week. So I do it with every wash and um, I basically just Apply it on my scalp all around and um, It has also helped with thickening my hair Besides Hairfinity, I'm still using Hairfinity. Pretty much addicted to this pill. Like, I probably need an intervention. But, um, you're probably wondering about the scarf. And this is how I basically, um, air dry my hair. I no longer roller set, blow dry. I haven't used the blow dryer flat iron in three months, going on four. And I really don't miss it at all. I really don't. Um, I'm not even a fan of heat anymore. It's like a curse. <laughs> so I am not using any kind of heat. Even when I deep condition my hair, I grab my cap and I let it sit there for like an hour or so. And it still penetrates and does what it has to do. So this is the scarf method that I do. Once I wash my hair, um, I tie the scarf around my edges and um, allow my hair to fully air dry. Once it's fully air dry, then these products come into play. Whoops. These products come into play and I moisturize um, the tangle really, really slow because I want to make sure I don't cause any kind of breakage or anything. Um, detangle my hair and and bun it and I keep it in a bun until I wash my hair again so that's pretty much it so after this video I will um, show you guys some of my transitioning um, hairstyles which is usually buns so don't be alarmed nothing really creative or you know it's just I will show you how I maintain my hair um, so that I can you know stay out of it and not do much of uh, 
manipulating my hair. You guys can't, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but check out my new growth. <laughs> Don't be staring at my eye either. But this is my new growth. And it, it's a jungle. It's really a jungle. My husband now calls me Mufasa because it's just a whole lot of hair. A whole lot of hair, which I never ever had being um a relaxed uh a, which i never had being relaxed my hair would thin out so much so it's great to see that my hair actually is very thick you know i just never gave it a chance with those relaxers and i'm not dissing anyone that relaxes their hair um i feel like if something works for you and you're most comfortable with it then you should stick to it and learn how to manage it and um, in the best way possible so that you won't get any breakage and your hair is not looking limp and straggly and ugly. So um, I'm not the one to tell people now that I'm transitioning to be natural. That's not what I do. I'm doing this for me and I see a lot of um, women, let's say in my family, and they're relaxed and their hair is super thick and long and beautiful. So I don't see why they will feel the need to even want to discontinue. I mean, if they ever feel that way, then that's up to them. But I also wanted to share something else with you guys. Um, when I'm super, super bored, I know this is so random because this is actually a hair video and here I am kind of shifting off to another topic, but I love to draw. I've been drawing since, um, for the longest, it's not really, um, it's mostly for entertainment. Um, it's nothing like I want to be a, a painter or, you know, or a sketch artist, but when I'm super, super bored, I definitely draw or I write a song or a poetry or I head into my home studio and I record and um, that's just what I do. I like to make sure that I entertain myself or I play with my Wii, um, the Michael Jackson experience, which is a whole lot of fun. If you guys don't have that game, go get it right now. It's a whole lot of fun so Michael Jackson will have you out of breath though with one song so I don't know how he did in the concerts but anyways mad random <laughs> this is one of my sketch um, it, it inspired me um, because of hair all I thought about was hair so I'm like let me just draw something that's you know that has beautiful long hair and she's she's what I came up with so another thing that I want you guys to know this video is kind of long I hate long videos but it's very important to document document your your hair journey um, I document it all I'm just Every little, if, if I experience breakage, excessive shedding, new products, I like to, before I even get on camera, I review it right here. Thanking the hubby for buying me this beautiful, beautiful purple. This purple um, journal that I decided to um, use to document my hair journey. So hopefully um, a few years from now, I could look back and just be like, oh my God, when I was transitioning and I could kind of like um, see where I was at mentally and um, the ups and downs of it. So there you go. It's very important. Sometimes when you get discouraged and you can go back and read and just basically be like, I can do this, you know? So every time that I write, it just inspires me to um, to just keep it going. And the 
this has been very helpful aside from of course the um products that i use in my hair and hair affinity <laughs> so bye guys um i just got the yapping and once i start it's really hard for me to stop Same.